Miss Brittany cruising the waters of Madagascar. Schooners have been a familiar sight here for more than a hundred years, and they've been made on the same beach since day one. Here in Bello on Sea, they make around ten of these distinctive sailing boats each year. Those who design and build them are known as Fondi. The boat there is 14 meters long and almost four meters wide. Once it's finished, I'll be able to hold 40 tons of merchandise. The Fondi are marine carpenters who, like Fama, have passed on their skill down the generations. I learned my job from my dad. I was his apprentice, and now, after 20 years, I have taken over the business. The first to pass on the know-how was famous Frenchman Ludovic Joachim from Brittany. He arrived here in 1870 with his brother, enchanting the villagers with his skill. More than a century later, his craft lives on, and it's just as physical now as it was back then. <laughs> We're used to working in heat, but because I need to finish this boat, I work even harder to get it ready on time. And the orders keep on coming. These boats, perfect for transporting goods and avoiding Madagascar's problems with transport infrastructure. They've become indispensable to the economy here. The schooners are much cheaper than trucks and 4x4s. If you have goods to move, it will cost, let's say, 500 francs a kilo by truck. That's compared to half that by boat. The only downside is the wood from which these boats are made is becoming rarer and rarer. But they're not endangered yet, and schooners continue to be a familiar feature of life in Madagascar.